Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Asus VivoBook 16. This is the X1605 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your RAM. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to go to the bottom case where we can take out your screws. So as you see here, you've got four screws along this bottom edge. You've got two screws here, two screws here, and two screws in the middle, giving you a total of 10 screws. After all those screws are removed, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your cases a little less than metal ones do. But you're going to take it and go around the outside edge, the seam, between the bottom case and the palm rest, and gently but firmly pry the bottom case off from your computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck in, in one place, leave it. Go to the other edge and work your way around in the other direction. This one wasn't too difficult to take off, just so you're aware. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a quick side point with computer repair, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to the tools and supplies that I would use on this model computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model of VivoBook. Now, one thing I do before touching anything in a computer, guys, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right here along the bottom. To get this battery up, there's four screws and it's plugged into the motherboard right here. Now, if you see in, in your plug, guys, there's a metal part right on top that holds down the plastic plug. So to get this off, you're going to slide that metal part up to free this up. And then you can snap that right off, up and off of your motherboard to get that battery out. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed, or at least unplugged, we can proceed deeper into the computer. Your RAM is right here. There's just one single port there for an additional RAM stick. This model computer has eight gigabytes of RAM integrated into the motherboard already. Uh, this computer maxes out at 24 gigabytes. So the 24 minus the eight you have on board leaves you a max of a 16 gigabyte stick here. So you can put an eight gigabyte stick or an eight or a 16 gigabyte stick. I'll try to include options for both below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. I'll have some options there for you as far as that goes. Uh, this is DDR4 RAM 3200. Uh, and the RAM stick that was in this computer was PC4 25600. The way that you would operate this RAM physically, guys, it's held in by two spring-loaded metal arms, one on either side. You would pry those apart from each other. The RAM stick will then release, and you can slide it out of this port right here. Now to put the RAM back in, if you notice, there's a long end here and a short end there. So you can only get the RAM stick in one way, the correct way. You, you can't put it in upside down. Uh, and then once it's in, make sure it's nice and straight and flush. You can use this gold here as a guide, make sure that's even. And once it is, push down in the center and these arms will latch onto it and secure it in place. Also below in the description, I'll have a video link to the teardown video of, of this model computer uh, if you're interested in any of the other components. Uh, and, and how to operate them and how to replace and upgrade them. But that is how you would access your RAM in this model computer. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right-hand side, you'll see the Super Thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your Cash App. Find me at dollar sign PC Helper. You can leave a dollar amount, and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.